Hello everyone, this is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today is October the 23rd, 2020. Four years ago, on this day, my beautiful daughter Cynthia passed away. 2016, it's a year I will never forget. The 23rd of October will live with me until the day I die. It's been a rough journey and it's always going to be a rough journey. But I'm so grateful for my family, my husband, my kids, my friends all your support. I'm so thankful that I am able to share my story with others. My prayers goes out to all the grieving mothers around the world. It's not easy. But one good thing I am sure of is that God is with me. You won't believe I'm sitting in my car. I'm getting ready to go and visit my daughter's crib. This is something that I never thought I was going to be able to do by myself four years ago. But to show how wonderful God is, he gives you that strength and that power. He encourages you. He, he loves you so much that the things that you feel and the things that you thought were impossible, he makes it possible. I have um, flowers here, here, that I'm going to take over to Cynthia's grave. Uh, my husband wanted to come with me and I told him, no, honey, I want to do this by myself. So that's where I'm heading now. And um, it's hard. But guess what? I got up this morning. I took my shower. I did. I, I put powder on my face. I look nice. And uh, I'm going to, to visit my daughter, Cynthia. It is well, it is well, it is well. The good thing is I'm taking each day one step at a time. And this is a major step. This is so major for me to drive by myself going over there. This is something I couldn't do four years ago. I remember my cousin. She used to be the one to drive me at the graveside. I had friends who would drive me over there. My kids would drive me over there. I'll go over there with my husband. But guess what? Today I'm going by myself. I'm going to have a good time. Just sitting there. Okay, I got to keep going. I don't want to mess up my makeup. I don't think Cynthia will like it if it's all messed up. So I will talk to you guys later. This is when these situations changes every time in our lives we get stronger every day and the good thing is that when we believe in God and we trust him and we pray and ask him for his mercies 
He gave it to us. I am driving over to go visit my daughter's grave on her fourth anniversary alone in car but not alone in spirit because God is with me yeah he is with me he is leading me he's giving me the courage wow wow <laughs> oh God, he is so wonderful. <laughs> I am so proud that he is my father. He is my father. He is my shepherd. He is the Almighty. He is my protector. And He loves me so much. Wow. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. So, any, any person out there watching me today, if you just lost your child today, know that things will get better things will get better trust me when you believe in God you pray you ask him for salvation he gives it to you I know your pain every mother going through the loss of a child I understand and I know your pain. You are not alone. I am not alone. I am grateful for the days that, the days, the years that I spent with my beautiful daughter Cynthia. Wow. Life life wow life life is something look at the sun each time I come over here the sun will just bright my face so this is what I did. I put some, I put some, I added this, I added this to there. Yeah. That's my beautiful baby. Look at her smiling. It's, it's as if she wants to tell me something. Oh, life. It feels like she got something to tell me. Look at her face. Look at that smile. Can you see? Can you see that smile? Yeah, it, it, it feels every time as if she got a story, she got something to tell me. It's like, Mommy, you're here, Mommy, you're here, and I'm here. Oh, wow, four years ago. Time passes so quick. I remember, I recall the day we came here to bury Cynthia. I, um, I was afraid because I didn't know how I was going to carry on. But like the Bible says, give all your problems to God. When you give him your problems, he carries it for you. And um, he has been carrying my problems all of my life. I'm so grateful to God. I'm so thankful to him. I rejoice 
and I'm happy that he allowed me us to stay together to travel together to do things together to to have fun together he allows that and who am I to question God all I have to do is just to keep on thanking him every day praising him try as much as possible to do things that are good and to respect each other that's all I can say that's all I can do I'm just sitting here Wow, this is me sitting on a graveside, my daughter's graveside. I'm just having lots of courage to keep on fighting. One thing about Cynthia, she never gave up for anything. <laughs> she worked so hard, she was very intelligent. She she did her best in everything that came across her. She was a good dancer. <laughs> she was a good dancer, a good a good child, a beautiful human being. God, mm. I thank you, Father. I thank you. Look at every, look at all the people here. Look at, look at the grave. Look, look there, look there. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you so much. I thank you, Father, Jehovah God. I thank you for today. I thank you for all the days of my life. I thank you for all the days I spent with my daughter. I thank you for giving me the power to be able to come here all by myself. Wow, Father God. You are amazing. You are an awesome God. When things happen to us, in most cases was we'll seen and said I can't take it I'm not sure I'm gonna make it no what I have come to realize is that we have to keep on thanking him just keep on thanking him praising him for he will never leave us alone he will always be there with us I for one, I am an example that if I'm sitting here alone, look at this, look at this, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here doing this, not because of my power, it's because of God's power, he did that for me, my lovely Cynthia, there's so much going on in the world today. It is well. It is well. It is well, Cynthia. Oh. So many things have changed. Imara is at Howard University. But she's studying from home. Darwin is in Romania, schooling over there. Marilyn is in Houston. She works from home. A lot of things have happened for the past four years. It's been ups and down. 
they've been some good good moments I came here with Jay we clean your grave he added some more stones the white stones here he added some yes so I'm sure we're going to go ahead and refill it again before the winter gets here again guys I don't want you to see my video and feel sorry for me I want you to 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 be happy for me guys when you watch this video don't be sad I'm not putting this out to make people get sad I am celebrating my child's life I am thanking God for the courage that he has given me for the strength for the power that he has given me because if someone had told me four years ago that I would be able to drive through here this cemetery all by myself to come and sit here I would say no so to all mothers who are going through the loss of a child know that God is with us so guys please do not feel sad for me regarding this video be happy for me um, I did it I spent more than an hour here at the graveside I rearranged the flowers and I just sat there and had some conversation so the purpose I'm putting making this video is to encourage other mothers encourage other parents encourage others who are going through something like this the death of a child um, yes they're going to be days that are very very tough to handle today was a tough day but guess what I am grateful because I was able to come here all by myself and make this happen so thanks to God I'm living now the Sun is just disappearing when I came here and I sat on Cynthia's graveside. I just sat down. Oh my goodness. The sun just came out. It was so bright on my face, on, on her photo, on her, the, the, her headstone. God, thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Thank you, everyone, for your support. I know I am not alone, but we are all unique in the way we grieve. So, just go ahead, subscribe, put down a comment, share, because millions of people around the world are going through the loss of somebody, the loss the loss of a loved one birth the loss of a child the loss of a child is different it's about 4 30 p.m. I haven't eaten since morning I've not eaten I'm not hungry I just had all the excitement to to be with Cynthia today. I, I'm not hungry. I've just been kind of depressed. I've been feeling sad. But I am rejoicing because of the steps that I've taken to be where I am today. Yes, that's the gravesite over there. That's it. That's it. Look at it. Look, I'm still here. I'm still here. Again, thanks for watching. This is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. 
every family has a story welcome to ours please do not forget to share subscribe like and make a comment write comment about this video by doing so we all learn from each other thank you so much and have a good day Thank you.